here I have just started the Writer Pro software. And as we can see, we have a log here at the right side. First of all, the controller starts. And then it loads four stored waveforms. Well, we have a number of different waveforms that we can load for each of the channels. Firmware waves, which are stored in the generator or created by the generator. And then we have calculated waves, which are produced by the software. And then we have stored waves, which are stored in the database. And these are the four stored waveforms. And then it loads the last used program, in this case, abdominal pain. We can see this over here abdominal pain from the CAFL, Consolidated Annotated Frequency List. This is a database from the internet. And we can see that this program consists of four frequencies, 600, 3000, 95, and 3, each of them consisting, having a period of 100, 185 seconds. <coughs> and then it loads the last used generator setup. We have them here. We have four different setups here. We can load them just by clicking. And then it scans the COM ports. In this case, we had no devices connected. So the software goes to simulation mode, as you can see here. And then it tries to enable the audio device. And it logs any change anytime you load or save anything from the generator setups. To test, you can just click Start and see what happens. Well, in my case, it loads a number of songs and starts playing. Then you can just stop. Well, what happened? As we can see in the log, it uploads the frequencies 600. 1800 hertz for each of the channels and then it goes through uploading all kinds of stuff setting the waveforms uploading them and setting the channels on and the program is started and then we can see that it goes through a gradual increase of the amplitude because we have this soft start amplitude low at new frequency. And this is the reason why I made this software, because I, I missed this soft start feature. I couldn't take, I really wanted something easier than this heavy, than this strong uh, switching um, to a new frequency. So, <coughs> that was the idea. Anyway, it goes through all of this until the amplitude is at the level it should be. Now we stop this. Let's try and start it again. You can see it gradually increases the amplitude every second until we reach the level. that we should have. Also notice that this panel becomes green when you're running. Well, you can combine these two 
graphs just by clicking on it. Change from white to black just by right clicking. And in other ways manipulate uh, the wave using these buttons. Put on spikes and the width of these spikes. You can also change of course the amplitude, the offset, whatever you want. The Judo cycle is a little special case. Not all waveforms have such a Judo cycle. I made this um, Judo cycle feature for the sawtooth because that was also lacking. If you're using a sine wave, you cannot have a change in Judo cycle. But using a square wave, you can. And you can create a pulse. Of course, if you're using spikes, you can always combine these things. Or triangle, sawtooth. These are basically the same thing, just different judo cycle. Then we ha have the sine dabbed wave. This cannot have any Judo cycle either. But it can be changed in different other ways. But not right now in this software. Then we have this DXBY, which is a double sign, basically. Anyway, you can save and overwrite at any time the generator setup that you're on. And then we also have some user data. You can add a user, rename, change, delete, whatever, and you get a log for each user. Regarding the programs, you can remove them, add new stuff, and use that instead. Things should be pretty easy to understand, that was the idea. You can lock channel 2 to channel 1, for instance. You can see how the amplitude follows if this is checked. If you uncheck this, and that was the frequency, if you uncheck this amplitude, then they operate independently. Also, the offset can be linked. Mm. Else, we have the gate. You can activate or not. You can control these parameters. Also, the wobble. The sound. You can define a playlist here. Create a new, rename, delete. And for each of the lists, you can add and remove these tracks. You can convert MP3 to OGG, but then you need to have this FFmpeg exe file in the application directory. You can use the software to generate audio by itself. 
it produces a file PCM structure which is then fed to the audio system and I also made this binaural effect where you can specify a frequency and the software creates two different waveforms having a frequency difference of whatever you specify here so you can get this binaural effect the best effect is of course if you use headphones then I also built in this random audio variation because I generate a PCM structure lasting one minute and during I can just as easily gener generate um, some variation into this so it's um, so it's not um, becoming too um, too static because variation is of course the, the great idea the, the great principle behind any frequency it is the principle of change and then we have of course um, various sound effects that you can activate and then adjust the volume <coughs> and you control the audio on this pane you can mute and so on okay now I've just started the Viper Pro and it there are no generators connected so it loads simulation mode and then I'm going to connect the generator now I hear the sound and then I disable simulation mode and try a rescan of the ports not finding anything I try one more time okay spooky to found com tree if I go to set com port it tells me okay port 3 now just do a simple test I click on I see both channels coming on here and I can see the generator comes on then I know I have a good connection turn it off make sure the generator comes on now before you do anything think about what kind of setup you have okay now I clicked so I loaded this setup what did it load as it started? Well, it was this. Anyway, realize that before you start, you should check what's going on. If you have the gate, the frequency, the wobbles, make sure these are not put at maximum speed at least unless exactly what you're doing make sure that all things seem to be okay the way you want it before you push start because then things start okay we can try this we know we have this setup do I want this let's see what kind of setups I have for instance this triangle square yeah, we could use that it's about 10 volts amplitude on this channel okay and I press I can clear the log first so you can see everything I can see the generator is on and I can also see the amplitude is changing. 5.3 and 10.6. So 
So we can easily see if the generator is following. As mentioned, this progress bar is the queue, the com communications queue to the generator. And this should always be clear, really. And then it will go through the whole program. When we click stop, of course, the channels should be set off. Notice that after each of these commands, you have a timer. I'm timing the, the duration it takes. And of course, the uploads, they take a bit more time. But many of these other commands are executed very fast. Still, don't push the generator too hard. <laughs> it should be able to take it, I know. But, you know, who knows what happens. There are no guarantees here. Well, that's it. Good luck.